Hello, this is Matthew Mead and this is an overview video of the new features within Axis Camera Station Pro 6.12. In this release, you can now integrate Axis Audio Manager Pro to provide public address functionality. The Axis Audio Manager Pro software enables you to configure audio zones containing multiple speakers and manage audio content from multiple sources. Pre-recorded messages, bell signals and background music can all be played automatically according to schedules and prioritization ensures that important audio will always be heard. By creating an integration between these two software solutions, we now provide a solution that combines both video surveillance and public address in a single simple to use interface. We have a separate video explaining the full functionality in more depth. The link is included in the description of this video. Within the configuration pages, we have improved the functionality and layout. One of the drivers for this was to improve the user experience when working with low resolution screens and connectivity via remote software. On relevant pages, you can now easily select the displayed fields via the customize icon. This allows you to remove or display the fields that are important to you. When a selection is made, the details and options are now displayed vertically on the right hand side. You can now hide this column via the collapse icon. This is also available for the main menu. When the main menu is minimized, icons are used to represent the menu options and the sub menu options can easily be selected. All of these changes have improved the configuration display and make it far easier to work with in all resolutions. A new function introduced is that Access Camera Station Pro can be opened in multiple windows. Right click on a tab, camera or view and select open a new window. Here you can see I have two windows already open. On the right hand side, I am displaying live video and on the left, I'm using it for investigations. This functionality is really useful when using Access Camera Station Pro with ultra wide monitors. We have also made a small improvement to our recording indicators. These are displayed in the top right of the video image. We now include indicators for ongoing recording, motion detected, object detected and action rule triggered. These indicators can also be displayed on the map. This is an option and needs to be enabled in the map editor. This is so we do not clutter the map, but it can also be a useful tool to indicate to an operator what is happening within the site and the solution. An interesting feature that we have introduced is Smart Search 2 triggers. Both object classification and free text can be used as a trigger within action rules. This can be used to bring specific objects to the attention of an operator watching live video or to trigger an action. Smart Search 2 is no longer just a forensic tool, but can be used to create very unique live user cases. But please bear in mind the camera positioning, lighting and object used in the trigger will have an impact on the reliability of this function. The next two features I will demonstrate are actions within action rules. The first is the ability to add an event category when creating a recording action. An event category has a defined retention time and color. This makes it really useful for identifying and protecting important alarm recordings. The second action is the ability to add a bookmark. Again, this is really useful for identifying important events on the timeline. Here we can see that the event category has been applied and the color reflects this. Also, the retention time has been changed. Here you can see the bookmark has been applied, which makes it easy to identify the recording. You can also find all of the bookmarks that have been applied and operators can easily add comments, which also helps investigations. The video recording made in the last example 
will also be used to demonstrate a feature that is available using our new ArtPec 9 cameras and the new AV1 video format. We can now toggle overlays in both live and recorded video. In this recording, you can see that we have a date and time overlay as well as bounding boxes from Axis Object Analytics. These overlays can now be toggled on and off depending upon your preference. Privacy masks, on the other hand, remain permanently applied to ensure integrity and compliance with privacy. The functionality is enabled within stream settings as it does increase the bandwidth associated with the stream. This is another exciting feature associated with the new AV1 video format. The last feature I would like to highlight is actually a change in behavior of the strobe siren when used within action rules. When using the strobe siren as an action, you select the profile you have created on the device itself. However, previously, all of the settings were used except the time duration. This has now been rectified and the time specified in the profile will be used in the action rule and not the trigger time. Unfortunately, in some user cases, the configuration may have to be adjusted, but this does work now as expected. Finally, I would like to highlight that Axis now provides an email notification service for Axis Camera Station Pro release updates. You can find the subscription link on axis.com and within this video's description. I hope you found this video of interest. Thank you for watching.